Aaron Foley. We are here today because we are shooting an L Word reunion special at the Falcon restaurant in West Hollywood. Women would literally line up all the way down the sidewalk, down the stairs, down Sunset Boulevard, teeming with excitement to go in, watch the L Word, see the cast members, get their drink on. It was the best Sunday night. So we're going to chat for the next, I don't know, six, seven hours uh, about <laughs> the fun stuff that happened on the L Word, and then we're going to get hammered. How do, you, how do you guys feel about that? Oh, I thought that was before the... Yes. I'm already... Um, uh, so I thought we'd kick it off by talking about, you know, this whole thing is really, you know, about the fans. The fans are, adore you guys, obviously, and, and me. I have about five fans. And uh, uh, so I thought it would be fun to talk about, like, crazy, fun fan stories. Because, you know, lesbians, they get attached, aggressively attached. <laughs> uh, but not, like, creepy fan stories, like, I'm in, I'm in a hedge and I know where you live. Uh, I'm sure that has happened to you, probably. Uh, but, I, you know, it'd be fun to talk about anybody who's got some really good stories of maybe people that have just crossed the line that you need to be like, hey, take it down a notch. No, I most of our know. friends are nice. I was just in Italy for a month, and somebody found out what hotel I was in and came up to the pool, and I was there with my kids. And that, that was a little strange, but her intentions were really great. She had made a CD of music and of mix, like really actually good, she made me a mixtape, in, in a good mixtape. That's hilarious. And yeah, and my nanny, she made my nanny a mixtape. <laughs> See, I'm yeah, Eliza got a mixtape. No. <laughs> um, she was Italian and she had great taste in music nice. and um, was a little that's what made it okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like the world's worst mixtape. You'd be but like, But she was Stalker. completely gracious yeah. and polite and had proper boundaries. It was all good. That's Some good. of my favorite fans were the ones who came to the set. Remember those older ladies who came to the set? Um, who we're, who were a couple forever. For, forever yeah. for like 30 years, but they weren't. They hadn't come out until they saw the L word, and the L word gave them the courage to come out I to their them. family and at work. And did, yeah. God, that made you want to ball your eyes out at. You know, yeah. at work, but then also made you feel like, you know, what you do matters and and can affect somebody so positively in their life, and it was really exciting. And I think, by and large, the fans that I've experienced have that kind of story to tell. It's not people who are trying to encroach on any boundary; they're just trying to show their gratitude. That's fantastic. Thirty yeah. years. They were together thirty years, right? Were they? Do you no, remember no. that story? That? Yeah, I remember them well, and I probably. Heard that story many times over from different people in yeah. different circumstances. Mm -hmm. Nice. And uh, but the mi I'm glad that the mixtapes worked well, out. There's positive. something really funny. It's all good. I, think, I, I, I mean, I think their intentions are so good. Yeah. And yeah, the no, love is fine. still there, even after the show being gone for so long. Yeah, you know, they're, that's they're very the, committed. They're very committed. And they have a great memory. I was. I <laughs> Coming out stories a lot Pe that the show helped people come out and mm -hmm. feel comfortable yeah. enough to tell their family and their friends and yeah. that's I, amazing. That's totally amazing. It's just fun to be here with you guys because I literally watched you know every episode, but in a fun way, not like on repeats and hitting pause or anything. But it was so fun every Sunday. You know we'd gather and uh, and and then we're shooting it here at the Falcon, which was really fun. When I moved to LA a couple years ago, that was this was the spots. This was the spot. I remember being like, there's lines wrapped yeah. around the. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys came, who right? Knew, well, I was going to say, who never here. came? Who never came to the Falcon while the L work was on? I never <laughs> came to us. The three of us are guilty. The four of us are guilty. <laughs> but we did. We were there. A premiere. Yeah, we were. There was yeah. a premiere yeah. here. What? There was a yeah, premiere. There was, there was a there. premiere here. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 There, was there was an event here. Event. Event. I don't remember. There was a place in, uh, on Santa Monica Boulevard. Yeah, yeah. We had yeah. a thing yeah. premiere on Santa Monica Boulevard. I remember that one because I came to the Falcon yeah. after. Yeah. Radiator. Yeah. Radiator. Yeah. I remember or that. Like that. Yeah. I feel like the Falcon was more of the after, uh, the after party sort of thing. Do we have? Unless we did have a premiere. We, I don't know that we did. No, we did. We did because Pam was here. I have the pictures to prove it. Oh, that was <laughs> a, that was an event. That was a. It was an event. It, was an event. it wasn't a premiere. I'm going to turn the TV <laughs> channel to showtime. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, I think you should watch this. It's a 
great show. <laughs> we need to shoot for something here. There's a big boxing match on there. No, no, it's the L word premiere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just put that on, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. They just did that for you to make yeah. you yeah. feel better. Yeah. Yeah. The L word premiere. No, 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 but no your there memory is not, no, it's, it's, not, it's not a completely false memory okay. or a delusion. Here. It was, we, delusion. we did a shoot here for, for Showtime, and I can't remember exactly that what it was for. Real. <laughs> yeah, I remember um, being here and uh, watching the women like watch you guys in that booth. There was like a booth back there, and you guys would just be like, oh, the "Yeah, the VIP booth." But and on the on the flip side, yeah. for us, wait, 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 time out, time out. It was the party where Paris Hilton went to the. So that was yeah, but she party. came to the party yeah, at the at the club in Santa Monica, oh, and then yeah. she came here afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we walked in, it was a big deal. <clears throat> no, 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 I was there. <laughs> no, I <laughs> remember. Paris you were there. It was after. It was at the afterwards. after party. Of but Paris Hilton okay, came no, to the, the official party, which oh, was at did? that club in Santa Monica, and then she came here and sort of right. followed us all here. Yeah, exactly. Are you sure? Yeah. Positive. Mm -hmm. Okay. I believe she's ubiquitous. Mm -hmm. yeah. Paris is everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She came out the award of the crowd. But I remember Thank the you. first year that this thing started happening at this Thank club, you. and that one night, the first time I actually came, because nobody ever invited me, and oh. I didn't know that it was happening. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and just seeing all the girls walk by and realizing that there were like 25% of the girls were Shein clones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, there were a lot was, of that was fascinating. The hairdos were like, the main. Hairdos, yeah. hats. If only they knew those hairdos were just an amalgamation of all other bad haircuts throughout the season. <laughs> <laughs> there were a few, yeah, definitely. A few, like a few hundred. <laughs> did you ever get recognized from the show? Me? Yeah. Yeah. What I do. What say to you? Well, it's actually, uh, it's actually really fun for me because, um, it's like I'm part of a, a secret, an honorary member of a secret <laughs> club. Yeah. It's really fun, but like, I'll be, it'll be at a restaurant. I'll get a, I'll get a wink. And, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Like, it's just kind of fun. Because yeah. you've done some events too. You've done like L word right. convention type events right. where you and, must uh, be the only man among thousands of women. Yes. Right. It is yeah. right. Yeah. Someone has to do it. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun. The ones in uh, in England. A lot. Of fun. <clears throat> yeah, it's something like, about people being gathered from the four corners of the earth for mm -hmm. the show. It's it's exciting. Yeah. I can imagine you get, you know, recognized. You were like the man. You were like the manly man on the L word. You're like the stud. With a short temper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the swimming man. The swimming man. That's right. The swimmers. It was kind of fun though, because I worked like two days an episode and would just travel around British Columbia. And it was gorgeous. Right. Were you saying that your character had a short temper, or that you had a short temper? No, the character did. Okay. And, no, no, not me. No, I mean, okay. um, not that I know of. I mean, yeah. uh, he blacks out. When <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. I do get a few, oh, Tim, you were the angry, <clears throat> mean dude. I, you I don't think so. I don't think so. You, know. you had a rough deal. Oh, yeah, it was I mean, tough. Jenny. I always feel bad You're for a you. piece of work. Yeah. <laughs> you were with Jenny. Yeah. You know, she course like of years, everybody's like, Tim. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Poor Jenny. Poor Jenny. She's just misunderstood. Bottom line. <laughs> yeah, totally yeah. misunderstood. That is the question I get more than any other, I think. So what's the deal with Jenny? <laughs> yeah. The audience wants to know. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great, I think that's, yeah. I think that, that proves that she did a great job. She did a great exactly. job. Yeah. yeah. I was going to save it for later, but I did have, open it up to some fan questions, and this one I got more than anything. Maybe this oh, is for Eileen. Oh, I can see. I know. I know. I know. Who killed yeah. Jenny? Okay. What the happened to Jenny? Who killed Jenny? <laughs> Why would you kill up the data? Who killed Jenny? What the bejesus happened to Jenny? Beth totally killed Jenny. I can't believe you killed Jenny. Who the hell killed Jenny? <laughs> There's like 80 of them. I'm like, for real? I always say ask Eileen. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I get asked that all the time. Yeah, it's, I, you know, I, I do get asked that all the time, and I never have a satisfactory answer for anyone because the answer, since... It wasn't answered on the show. It could have been any number of things, and yeah. we might have taken it somewhere, and who knows, maybe we still will. But the one answer that I ever gave that made people happy was, I killed Jenny. Oh. And, I mean, that, oh. that was the oh. one oh. answer oh. That, that actually was seemed to be satisfying to yeah. people. Um, but I, I did, I mean, you know, the, the one thing that I've actually said, because you know, I do occasionally get asked if I regret anything, the one thing that I most regret on the show is, is Dana's death. 
That yeah. is, yeah. Mm -hmm. The reaction was so passionate and the grief was so deeply felt and to have been responsible for causing that kind of grief just is a hard thing to live with. Can I say <laughs> that it was just like hearing God apologize for taking one of your friends too yeah. early. Yeah. <laughs> it was really nice to hear. I may not be able to talk. I know. Yeah, sure. yes. I'm having a little moment over okay. here. That's so interesting to hear. We were very attached to you, Dana. Yeah. So. Well, and you know, I'm supposed to say we stand by every choice we made, and but, in some way we do. But yeah. if I could go back and do it over again, yeah. that might be the one thing I'd do differently. But you know, it still was a, a good plot. I mean, you know, you can't win them all. I mean, you, Jesus, I'm, people I'm, are going to call in and be like, "Why did you?" Choose that car on episode four, the fourth minute. I mean, you know. It, I stand by that yes, choice. Yes, good, good. <laughs> I feel like it was an excellent, excellent choice. Yeah, no, I get that all the time. It was like the Dana and the Jenny. I was just like, all right, ask different questions. We'll get to that later. But uh, it, was, it was a lot. People, yeah, I mean, we were, not going to lie, we were crying. You were a fun character. You were yeah. a fun yeah, character. Yeah, she was. Yeah, we had fun. Yeah, we did. How we was it, too? You know what someone asked me? Um, like, when you become friends, you know, it seemed like you guys obviously were a close-knit group, and you were covering a murder, so that makes you closer, I think, as a whole. <laughs> uh, and then you get the script. Like, like season one, you guys were, you know, best friends, and I can imagine you are you know, obviously good friends off-screen, and then you get the script, and you're like, whoa, we're lovers. And that, <laughs> oh, my God. Like, that, that must so be, fun. like, a fun, weird transition. You're like, now nah, i got to make out with her face. We, well, yeah, we had that conversation we did, yeah. completely because, you know, the thing about the L word, too, is that because it was shot on location, I think I can speak for, for everybody, it was like camp, you know, so it was a particularly intense uh, experience. So you, you really got to know everybody because your life, all of our lives were back in L.A. or New York, and so this is who we hung out with. Yeah. So you really, the closeness was, was genuine and it was real. So yeah, so when Leisha and I, it's like, is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? We're like, no, they're going to draw it out for, oh my God, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think, you know, we, I'm like, so Leisha, is it, is it okay? Is, is, is Nina going to try to kill me? Or, <laughs> fortunately, it was also really fun scenes, and it was a really fun, funny relationship. Yeah. So we actually had a lot of fun doing it. Yeah. I just and planning it out. Yeah. Or like our, our and I got to make out with Alicia. I mean, <laughs> and I was like, you're gonna kiss me too. Yeah, I, like, I, know. <laughs> so funny. I was like, I'm the luckiest girl alive. That's how I felt. That's Thanks. Go so cool. go make I, out. You know. <laughs> no, it was it was in fact way better to have your friend in those scenes than you know, a stranger actor that's on for the day, or so, which yeah. I think it's true. this yeah. one to my right. So we'll we'll trust, get to that. You know? mm -hmm. It's yeah. like we trusted each other so completely yeah. that that weirdness was gone. And that's usually the overwhelming weirdness when you have to make out with somebody exactly. that you, it's like, hi, nice to meet you. I'm going to stick my tongue down your throat. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. But the trust, or we would talk about, it's like, oh, okay, so, all right, this scene, I'm like, Feeling a little bloaty? Can you just like <laughs> hands here? It's yeah. on my thighs. Like, that'd be great. Good. Gotta cover the bloat when you make out. Well, you know what? If I could cover <laughs> the bloat every time I made out, I would. So, you know, <laughs> that was definitely uh, a bonus. Yeah. But I think the fact that you guys were so close as friends that when, yeah, the, chemistry when you, was on. the chemistry was so great that mm -hmm. when you did have to play the whole arc of the cancer and when when Dana does pass away, when that moment that you're in the hallway at the uh, hospital uh, is just... Uh, really well, it was devastating because, because my friend was leaving. Moment. Yeah. It was Personally, a real Personally, it was yeah. really mixed. That mm -hmm. whole day was like, it was this weird sort of like, like other universe sort of feeling because we were shooting the scene, but at the same time also... It was like, no, oh my God, It was like, wait a second, this is the last... Yeah. Scene. Scene. It felt mm -hmm. real. I mean, it felt it, like a it, death. But it, and, but it, it was. It really mm -hmm. was the. It was the end of, of a uh, life, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. in a way. So it, it was very real. What very was your real. last scene that you shot? Well, where you came back? Yeah, the last scene that I shot was no, but the, in that sequence. sequence. But in that sequence was the uh, was the last scene. Was the last scene mm -hmm. was the scene where Dana goes down. Oh, I got chills up my spine. <laughs> yeah. 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 Roast Roasted, yeah. 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 I remember being in that hospital. 
Yeah. I do too. Yeah. I remember we had a read through in that yeah, hospital. Yeah, yeah. It was in a really depressing hospital it was, too. Yeah. In the middle of nowhere. I remember. Oh, wow. the other I remember seeing you know, the, the window. Floor. The what? Yeah. yeah, the floors were not so bad. Oh, just yours? Oh, yeah, just, just the one you're sitting on. <laughs> the one where you get spent all the time. The other floors were actually not so bad. <laughs> well, because I had to sneak through also, because I was really conscious of the fact that I looked <clears throat> sick. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like I had the whole bald cap yeah. on and everything. And, and, um, so I was really self-conscious about wandering around the hospital. So yeah. I wanted to make sure. So I remember going like different. So you don't get admitted back to your room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. What are you doing off your IV? With you guys too, like at the very beginning. We had to hit the ground running. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean you two really. Yeah, so we had to first, produce a, a first scene, relationship right? Like right yeah. Off the bat. yeah. Yes. But our but we but didn't have any love scenes right away. No, we didn't. We and in fact, stuff. it wasn't until. The scene in the museum or the gallery where Bette is giving a lecture and then they go around the corner. And then so there was the sweet. guy. And, and it was just a sweet kiss, but it was that moment where Showtime kind of went, oh. Yes, I got okay. the call after that scene because it was the first, it, we were shooting the pilot, mm -hmm. and it was the first moment of, of intimacy in the show. And the Showtime guys watched it and it was incredibly sweet and very charged between the two of them. But it was just like a, it was barely a kiss. And I got the call. Is that it? Because we really like that, and we want more. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> wow. I guess that's a good call to get. You don't want to get the opposite call. It was a good call. And then when yeah. we did the love scene, was late, much later on. We yeah, were, it, it was, was towards later. the end. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you remember going into the truck and watching it? Yeah. Well, and because at first we, we like, did it. We did it, and they, the note came back that they wanted yeah. more. That there wasn't enough. We shot uh, a very, a, a very um, sort of pared down version of it the first time mm -hmm. and and again we got the note and so often wow. when you get those notes it's 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 really a salacious note like yeah. it's really yeah. you go ew like yeah. but when you when we watch the, chat, the when, yeah. when you watch the scene you go you know they're completely right because given the arc yeah. of what these people have gone through and how much they love each other and what this scene means you can't have it last like 10 yeah. seconds. That doesn't make any sense. And yeah. it so set the tone for the show. I mean, Jennifer and Laurel were both amazing because they really created that scene. They heard what the network had asked for. They looked at the scene, agreed that it needed something more. And I remember sitting in that trailer and watching and the scene with you. And like the two of you be. together came up with, like, what, what is the moment? What is this love scene going to be mm -hmm. about between us, and how are we mm -hmm. going to do it? And then we went and, 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 and looked up our favorite love scenes. We did. Scenes we looked at our favorite And then love shared scenes. them <laughs> with Rose and with Bob, the DP, and so that we can all we talk in a, in a, with the same vocabulary. Because when you talk about sex, like when you talk about anything that is so subjective, you, you maybe don't know what the person's really talking about yeah. or what that looks right. like. But if you can go, okay, see this scene and how this scene worked out in this movie, okay, I think this is interesting and these are the reasons why I think it's interesting or sexy or whatever. What well, Rose is really interesting. Do you remember? She'd always the get like a little bit embarrassed. <laughs> oh, Do you Rose remember would, that? Yeah. yeah, Rose would get she, embarrassed. Yeah. And, 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 the, and, the, the, climax, and the climax, I remember. You know, it's like, well, how do we know when we're supposed to come I together? I know. Like, what are we supposed to do? Like, <laughs> but to go we know that we want to come together, but, but like, how like, do we know? Do we know? Like, the timing of that. Thing. One of you had the idea. We did a countdown. We should come. Well, this I, it should be. That we was, both yeah. have an orgasm at because the same Because the time. film that I really loved, and I obviously hilarious. can't remember the title of it, but it's <laughs> Billy Crudup and uh, Jeepers. I Jennifer Connelly. Too. Yeah. Of and course you had to pick the film with my ex-boyfriend yes, in it. Yes, I know. <laughs> well, I thought it might be easier for you to put a projection onto it. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> but it's a really beautiful moment, and you don't see any nudity or anything. Mm -hmm. I, I can't remember the name. Waking the Dead. Waking, Waking the, the Dead, dead. thank yeah. you. Yeah. And, uh, but how do you know when to come together? So Rose started doing the countdown on off screen. Oh, I do the countdown all the time. Yeah, the countdown. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really? Out loud. Yeah, okay. Ten. Five. <laughs> <laughs> ten. <laughs> Left Rose, off. Rose would literally start blushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 She's just really, yeah, blushing and almost like she a little girl. She embarrassed so easily. She it was does. the cutest it's thing. So but cute. she had a much better time with your sex scenes when we were shooting the pilot than with the girl girl sex scenes to begin with. We couldn't with. count backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it organically went to the filming of sex scenes. Like all the viewers are going to be like, bonus! This is fantastic! <laughs> and uh, you, you had to make out with a stranger every 20 seconds. Yeah. It certainly felt like that, yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, actually, I feel like every episode, pretty much. It I was mean, a lot. It was a lot. There were times where, uh, you know, characters would, certain characters would come in and last for a bit, but yeah. no, I'd say for the most part, you're right. Yeah. So when you, when you first signed on and you get the script and you're like, all right, my role is a hot, loose lady, did you have to do, like, some research? Like, how did you, did you have to go out there and be no. a hot, loose lady? No, I feel like, I she mean, I, plenty. Yeah. And also, I was young, and I figured, you know what, if I'm going to do this, I should do this now. Right. When I feel like I can. Yes. You know, so, why not? <laughs> Look at little old man over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not like 10 years ago. All right, ago. Let's, Come on. we don't let's need to tell real. everybody. <laughs> they know. They're going to know. They don't know. They're all 10 years older, too. <laughs> yeah, but, um, exactly. But also, I knew that the show, you know, I, I mean, I don't, I hadn't met Eileen or anybody else yet, but I, I knew that. It was being directed by a woman. It was, the show was created by a woman, and I just felt like it would be safe. My instincts said it would yeah. be a safe place to um, explore that sort of thing. Nice. And I was right. You were totally right, and it was super fun to see you make out with twenty-eight Thanks. strangers every twenty-six. <laughs> <laughs> what was what was like? What was your favorite relationship on the show? Which one did you want to keep for more than a date? You were a horrible person. I don't know about the dates. <laughs> I feel like the dates. She was, I was confused. It was a confusing yeah. time for her. You were kind of an asshole. Maybe. Carmen. Oh, Carmen. 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 I like, yeah, uh, I think, I gotta say, I think so. I think it was Carmen. I think. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah I wish that kind of, I wish her contract didn't expire <laughs> when it did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It would have been nice for her to stick so around. Yeah. And have seen, you know. Yeah. Did her contract of, expire? Is that? Something yeah. like that. No, her contract well, did expire. Yeah. And she's. Yeah. And she's the type of girl who's like, on to the next one. She doesn't, yeah. you know, she doesn't wait around. So, uh, but if she'd had, it would have been nice to have had some closure. And we just you got guys along. Had great chemistry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We had yeah. really great, great chemistry. chemistry. Yeah. And I have to be honest, I don't know where it came from. We got along really well. Mm -hmm. We didn't like, you know, we came into work. It was like, all right, let's shoot this. Let's go. Because we both have flights to catch. So don't fuck <laughs> up. I won't fuck up. You won't fuck up. And let's go, go, go. And then and we would do it. Yeah. And that's why our chemistry, <laughs> I think, was so great. Because we both just like wanted to get the job done. And we didn't fuck around. Like, we didn't waste time yeah. together. So that's romantic. Yeah, yeah, very romantic. <laughs> now, like, now they're gonna know that you know. It's great chemistry. We have a flight to catch. Yeah. So yeah. We could but just... I'm serious. Yeah. I think there was some some romance in it. I mean, Maybe, but not we were in very... real life. But that you two both were <laughs> very. I mean, I, I really believed your characters, and I felt yeah. like you knew them, and you told me a lot about them. Yeah. Well, I think also because Sarah and I genuinely liked each other. We didn't hang out a lot off off set really at all because for whatever reasons, but we really got along. We really respected one another. I think we had like a, you know, mutual sensibility about things. And I guess that's maybe where it stemmed from. Yeah, no, it was it was but, fun. I think that was everybody's favorite. I mean, if you took a poll, mm -hmm. maybe you and Carmen. For, for Shane, uh, hands down, I'm yeah. sure that would win. No, I mean, I'm speaking to you as Shane. Okay, <laughs> are we still there? <laughs> Kate Shane. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna call you Kate Shane for the rest of your life. <laughs> I never thought of Shane as an asshole. I don't think she was an asshole either. I thought mm -hmm. she was just, no. you know, um, she was lovable. Yoda. Miss, she's I, th lovable. I think, I think she kind of went by the beat of her own drum, and most mm -hmm. people can't relate or understand yeah. or accept that. I thought that she was always strikingly honest yeah. and very honest. Yeah. yeah, she mm -hmm. didn't ever. I think she was one of the most soulful characters. Stuff. Absolutely, mm -hmm. she never sure. once lied and said she could do something she couldn't. And if she did ever, there was a very seemed to be a very very strong repercussion. I actually thought she was lovely. Like she felt realistic to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Her yeah. emotions felt realistic to me. It, you know, it's fun because you know everyone sort of brings part of themselves, you know, into the character and just I, you know I know some of you a little bit, but I can definitely see that in Alice. With I mean I've only met you a couple of times, but super fun energy and but like you know that must have been a fun. For you to play, yeah, right? best time of my life. Yeah, yeah. How much was was it like any improv? Like, it, or was it like oh, it just felt no, like really. some of the oh, stuff like, felt oh, never. It was all no. on the page, <laughs> was it? <laughs> <laughs> it just felt. I guess. Well, you guys are all such good actors. Like, it just felt like this could have been a conversation you just whipped up. You know, there was a lot of great improv. 
Yeah. Okay. Sometimes we went over both. But and sometimes it went out Mia? of control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Eric could probably talk about improving with Mia. I'm, you can but too. I mean, yeah. yeah. But basically, oh, like, yeah. that's you. That's yeah. you. Yeah. But you know what? It keeps you awake. Absolutely. Like, yeah. yeah. Very yeah. awake. Yeah. Yeah. Very honest. But I would venture yeah. that I mean, it was fabulous and incredible things happened. And probably there was a moment when every single person who had major work to do with Mia came to me crying. Not, never came <laughs> crying, but yeah. not quite. No. <laughs> Wait, majority well, people. Never cry. I mean, majority, you know, I feel like with Mia, yeah, it's. That, that I feel like with Mia, you have to, you have to, you have to be on your game, and anyone who yeah. couldn't keep up you is going to be upset game. and feel threatened yeah. and be nervous. But it's immensely challenging and immensely rewarding. It's like a yeah. great acting. It's kind of like lesson. a Rubik's cube yeah. when you're doing yeah. your your singles with her. Those yeah. say again. Yeah, the Rubik's cube. Oh, I thought it was she no, working exactly. with her was a wonderful was, acting lesson. Yeah, it was I an feel like I learned a lot you from on, it. Absolutely, the, like it's definitely one of the things working with me is something that I've taken away yeah. and onto other sets to have to try to have that I agree. sense of being alive and being mm -hmm. present. She, she keeps know. it fresh. I yeah. feel like every time, you know, you work with her, every take something little would happen. Or big, but sometimes very, very subtle. But it would at least keep it fresh and keep yeah. it alive. And but I think I had, I had the most stuff with her in season five, and we had a lot of comedy and then a lot of crazy drama. Yeah. It was the it was the most fun. That's great. It was awesome. That's fantastic. And I loved that and Jennifer and Mia wound up working so intensely together in the last season because to me you were always two opposite mm -hmm. sides of the coin right. and of an idea I had about character. Mm -hmm so very different in the way that you both worked and so they're different in character and yet it was really combustible. It was, it was really really fun. We've got some fan questions which is really exciting and then I I, I wrote a couple of them but those are the good fan as questions? well because I'm a fan. What do you think of Erin as a host? I think she's doing a really good job. Keep going. Thank you. So nice. <laughs> so our first question is uh, Susan from Cleveland. I don't know. I just said that. Uh, <laughs> the question is boxers or briefs? Suit briefs. Suit yeah. briefs. Smart. What are well, the nice yeah. ones? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. neither. Oh. But not today. Sorry. <laughs> I think I like Doesn't Endo. that hurt? That will not there you have it. it. That's our yeah, show. That will make it. You know what happens? I hope it does. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of that one. Here's the fun one. What does Eric have to say? Oh, well, apparently. Well, Eric, let's fast forward to it. It's cold turkey in the fall. Uh, this is a fun one because I wrote it. Uh, we're going to talk about fun, personal, neurotic traits. I don't know what you're talking about. I feel like Aaron, you've got you've got a, a lot. <laughs> I'll start it off. I'll kick it off. I can't watch anyone brush their teeth. Why? Go. I like really? to vacuum. You like to vacuum. I do too. I love to vacuum. It's very I like common. that too. Yeah. What is that? And, and it's know. instant gratification. Yep. The feeling of that stuff getting sucked up is uh -huh. great. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a neurotic trait though. You're just, no, it's you're neurotic just like when you do it. Cleaning. No, it's when you no, do it like every compulsion. 25 minutes. Every 25 minutes yeah. you vacuum your ass. Well, if I make a little that's mess, I get. Zzz, and I, I do have you like have a, a, a hand clean. one. I have those that really that's great true. Dyson vacuum cleaner that. And you also have that steamer thing. It's a Jetta. I do. The Dyson with the ball. He did. The what? The Dyson with the ball. No, the Dyson Dustbuster. I have that under the sink. That's for my. That's for the quick ones that I can't. She had a steamer once, and I came to her house, and she just got it, and you were steaming everything. That, that, that came from a bed yeah. commercial when I was at a hotel at like 5 in the morning and I couldn't sleep. And I was like, I want that. I could really use it. And I ordered it. And you <laughs> steamed away. I steamed everything in that house, yeah. I don't know what happened to it, though. Maybe Dyson will send me, you know, a proper you get me I love my Dyson. I know. <laughs> I use it So then you should try the Dust Buster. It's incredible. Could we rename it the Dyson? Uh, there you go. So I want to hear everybody's neuroses. Because Aaron has a whole about, list. Yeah, you go. Start down there. All right, we're going to start. Yeah, we're going to start with me. Other move. people should tell other people's neuroses. Okay. Oh. Well, Aaron has to keep her trailer very, very clean, and she redecorates it so it looks like like a French spa. Mm -hmm. Or a door. Not a boudoir. Yeah. And she has to change the lighting in the trailer. So it's it's lighting. lighting. Oh, my God. It's true. Seriously, it is true. Every single light in my house is on a dimmer. <laughs> And you think I'm kidding. Oh, I'm not. You always 
the house. best like cashmere throws like over like I feel like when I was I'm in your trailer you know, I was never gonna touch it's about the atmosphere anything but mm -hmm. soft stuff and you won't and it's clean and it will be clean yeah may not be Dyson clean <laughs> <laughs> but it's clean okay what about yeah. Leisha what are Leisha's quirks hmm she likes to take things from a set. <laughs> <laughs> she was the queen of having a big case of water in her car, no. and you would take it to okay. the trailer. <laughs> totally. Or if you ran out of toilet paper, or you ran out of paper towels. Paper towels. You'd always, that was the, always great. You always brought the. You always and I also the had the whole uh, like every department in the production office was doing something for me. Favor. Like, yeah. <laughs> every department was like blowing up pictures, and then I had like somebody building something. Then she, set deck, then then she had someone like mixing her a special color paint yeah. that doesn't actually exist. <laughs> oh and the same thing happens at hotels. You use the concierge yeah, for, love it. for everything. It's a blast. <laughs> <laughs> when else do you get to do well, that? Well, you know what? Yeah. It's true, though. Most it's people smart. don't. No, it's smart. And that's what it's... I've, I've learned a few of those things just from work. It's like every time I, I go learned to a few hotel. From Felicia. I <laughs> learned a few of them from Alicia. I call down every single time now. I'm like, yes, I need a down comforter <laughs> to my room. Yeah. Extra pillows. Extra pillows. Yeah. And they show up. It's like, see, I knew you had one. Yeah. You don't have Jeez. to sleep under that <laughs> nasty cover like Eileen? Eileen needs I'm everything. Can I have one for Eileen? Oh go my god, you are so OCD. You are. <laughs> <laughs> With the papers. But you know, I, like I, I, I have an admiration of it. It's something else. If I could maintain that in my life, it would make me happy. Because everything is just perfectly perfect. Really? I can't think and I can't work if no. it's not. Everything yeah. is, like, even if there's a little space easy. between each object, it, each space is exactly yeah. the same. Yeah. The, the dirty secret is that I have no idea what's in any of those pockets. <laughs> really? It doesn't matter. It looks and great. And she can't use her phone. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. I just got this. I'm not sure. <laughs> so, yeah, Laurel, what are Jennifer's? She doesn't really have a quirk. She was like my natural daily uh, naturopath. <laughs> I would be like... You know, I got a little pain right here, and like I think I've got something. And you're like, okay, this is what you need to do. You need to do a liver cleanse, and you can juice. <laughs> and oh, okay, wait. No, no, I have this great thing. You should try this. <laughs> just, we became like herbal. Yeah, farm. That's like, true. For me, I need to. I pictures on the wall have to be straight. Like I hate mm -hmm. when a picture is crooked. That really bothers me. Hate is a strong word. I maybe should oh, use that it. word. No, it I bothers agree. me. It's an irritant. I when I go over to other people's houses, I feel compelled to. Straighten. Fix, straighten the pictures on the wall, and um, and I have to make my bed in the morning. Me too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like, then, no matter what happens in the day, at yeah. least I accomplish something. <laughs> but if you call, call that from a <laughs> you seriously yeah. lower the bar every day. That's yeah. pretty awesome. You're like, I got my bed made. I got my bed it's made. Yes, it's it's like staving off chaos somehow. Mm -hmm. So does Sorry. Laurel have any quirks that anybody knows of? <laughs> Hmm. Admit to something, Laura. <coughs> All right, you think about it, Aaron. <laughs> fire, let's fire away. It, what are yours, Aaron? Quirks? quirks. I have many quirks, but the neuroses are, are they outnumber the quirks. I think. <laughs> pigeon <laughs> <was> number one. <laughs> Did you say pigeons? I said pigeon. <laughs> But you don't, don't like them? them? I hate pigeons. Right. Why? Actually, she right. moved out of a place in I, Yale Town uh, because of a pigeon problem. <laughs> I forgot about that. No, she those were my seagulls. Place, and that's when I moved those were seagulls. seagulls. Right. I don't have some weird Hitchcockian bird thing. It's mostly <laughs> just pigeons or any bird that will fly at you and shit, basically. <laughs> I think pigeons, they scare the hell out of me. They're Off like, the they're worse than ants or spiders or anything. They'll just... I don't know what it is. You ask no. for neurosis. Yeah, pigeons are. They're not kind of. It's oh. very oh. 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 That's a surprise. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Was that like all this? All oh, these surprises. Sneaky. Yes. Very sneaky. Hey, sneaky. I knew it all along. I'm not going to lie. They were about to take me off the set and say, you're not supposed to be there. I said, no, I have to be to yeah. interpret for Marla. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right here. <laughs> I can't drink and work at the same time. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> Sorry, was that... They made me come. <laughs> <laughs> no, how you How's everybody? How's Good. everybody wearing the set? I, I, I'm not going to interview you. You're just talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, does Marley have any neuroses? Yes. You look so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> it's called makeup, 
and you should have seen me this morning. So <laughs> that's basically what it is. It scared the hell out of people, even my family. Marley's got to have candy on the table at all times. Oh, yeah? Really? We're talking yeah, about candy. Her super roses. candy addiction. Marley also has a dirty mouth, which I really Yeah. Like. <laughs> I have plenty of dirty words for everybody. Yes. Yeah. No, but I don't have to say them right here. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're airing it out. We are airing it out. No, we're talking neurosis. about neurosis. What's wrong with you? Oh, I thought I was going to go. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not funny. Come on. Come on. Eat, eating is a pet peeve of mine. Um, when people have don't have good manners at mm. a table, when they shovel their food. Yeah. I, I tend to find a lot of guy friends, I think because they were in households, it's not very exciting or, or that funny, but the <laughs> shoveling, the, the sound of the shoveling and the, the, uh, the then, then you couldn't eat, we couldn't eat together. No, I just was going to say, like. <laughs> I, just, I just shovel it all down. My pet peeve, and uh, what I get neurotic about in a lot of things, is when people eat and then they lick their mm. fingers. Oh, like this. Ah, yeah. And, the and that drives me nuts. That drives That's me nuts. disgusting. It's gross. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I know what my nose is feet. I hate feet. I knew it was Uniformly, all yeah. feet. Yeah. Even a really good looking foot? Um, or is that just not a possibility? I, I don't know. World? No, I just the, I just had two older brothers that would like wrestle me on the floor and I just remember feet and I just didn't want feet around me and I just would be like, I, I, I can't stand. Like if someone's in my trailer, if they put, and you guys didn't do this, I don't think anyone did this, put their feet on my couch. I'm, I, have a, I have a foot thing. God, I have mm. well, that's Except for really my children's feet. Babies. I like my children's feet. Yeah, really? Hey, how's it going? Like, no, or like, I don't know, I have a funny thing about couch. feet. <laughs> and, and if, um, well, you made me have a sex scene with a guy, and I was didn't want to look at his feet. That's what I remember. I was just like, don't look at his feet. Well, and then we gave you a guy who clipped his toenails. I remember that, that was I hard. Know. I didn't want to watch that. I didn't want to be in that scene. Mean, pub I publicly like, clipped them? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was part of the story. It was a story pain. point. He clipped his toenails. All right. I feel so like I'm we're done with that question. <laughs> when the clipping toenails comes, I just throw up in my mouth. All right, here we go. Uh, here's more Facebook questions. Who is your celebrity crush? I remember you girls answered that the first oh, season. So oh, did. And I remember your answer, and I was just the other day thinking about we, it. Did we, we have the same one? You both had Angelina Jolie. That was me? years ago. It was years and years and years ago. Years ago. Okay, they can yeah. 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 yeah, you Fe. probably did 10 years yeah. ago. Tina Fey. 10 Mine years ago. Totally hands down. Nice. Tina Fey. Absolutely. My celebrity girl crush. It doesn't have to be a girl crush. It can be any, but I like that. She's my celebrity crush because she's brilliant and funny. Yes. She's awesome. She's awesome. Mine's Matt Damon. Yeah, he's I love cute. Matt Damon. Yeah, he's he's so cute to I don't me. I know that. I just think he's like yeah. the perfect looking guy. Sorry, Eric. I'm talented. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Beals oh. is mine. Oh. Yeah. Well, oh. I remember who yours were, but they might have changed. The girls? Yeah. What? It was Sarah Michelle Gellar. <laughs> no, she had a girl uh, crush. Naomi Watts. Naomi Watts, I loved as actors. But well, girl crush, okay. Girl crush. If I had to marry someone, it was. Um, you don't have to you marry. Don't have to marry. Him. No, no, see, that's why I just go there. <laughs> <laughs> I go to um, Kelly. I love Kelly. Like, Kelly, Lynch. Kelly. I loved her as a guy. Well, <laughs> oh, okay, but still, Everybody, she was a Ivan girl was, guy. Ivan was really cute. I don't know. Sexy. The hots for Ivan. Yeah, I love. I would have had like pictures in my locker of Kelly. I think as Ivan. And Kelly was great too. Yeah, really smart, really sexy, all those things. I like that we have a right to marry, right to yeah, the right to marry. Like, yeah. um, I, I, now it's like Ryan Gosling. I've got a big Ryan Gosling thing. With some more Facebook questions, I uh, put it out on the Facebook page. What do fans want to know? What Facebook page? My Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been more specific. Yeah. Like, is there still what else Facebook? is there? Right? There's an L word Facebook page, and I run is there? it. Uh, I don't. I don't. <laughs> What I bet was my Facebook page, uh, which has some Lesbo followers. Uh, here's a good one. What's your favorite meal? <laughs> I, I, I didn't know we were going to be so deep. What have you cooked right? these days? What have I been cooking? Yeah, um, what did I make last night? Last night I made, last night I made lamb, uh, lamb chops on the grill with like a mustard glaze. And I also made chicken with a uh, balsamic honey. Can I go nice. the morning? Yes. Yeah. I heated up some Trader Joe's. I'm just gonna skip over so. here. Yeah, come over. Yeah. Why don't you ever? You should come over. You're so freaking well, close. Well, now I'm coming because I All see right. the menu now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else cook? Where the where the I would have here? ice cream. I like the ice cream. Yeah. Oh yeah. I bet. 
Marley and I should I'm have a chef always, off. I'm always cooking. I'm yeah. always cooking something because my kids get pissed off only because I won't cook just what they like mm -hmm. individually. <laughs> It has to be sort of a group decision uh, or anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it is what it is. That's smart. How do you cook hard? Chicken, meat, sushi, we we'll make whatever yeah. it is. Uh, I make the best apple pie. I make cookies. I wow. make everything. You make sushi? Apple pie? You make sushi? No, no. I'll go out with sushi. Wow. She's out on the I'm boat. I'm not that good of a cook, but I do make everything else. And I, I cook all the time. It's like she, she was the caterer on the album. <laughs> <laughs> Italian. Nice. Wow. Um, all right, here is a Facebook fan question. Do you feel like your character, anyone can jump in. Do you feel like your characters have affected the types of roles you are offered or auditioned for today? I, I mean, I think, uh, I can only speak for myself, but I think that um, the show itself changed the landscape of television. Yeah. So there are more roles where there are more lesbian roles. So I think when people think of, okay, well, who could play a convincing lesbian? Like, well, okay. <laughs> we'll call Erin because she's available, and, you know. In my case, when I met with Eileen and we were talking about doing the L word, and I came in with this attitude, I thought, you know, well, they're going to see me, and then they're probably going to change their mind, or they're going to see me, and I'm going to do one episode, and that's it. That was how I came in because I get a lot of, that happens to me. It's just the nature of who I am in the business. And when I sat down with Eileen and, she was like, okay, so what do you want to do? And how, we, I have ideas. And I'm like, well, let's share them. And it was, a, I had never had that process. And since then, it's changed my mind. But so open about embracing a deaf character, signing, making it work in this community, in this setting. And it really changed everything from that point on. And it, not for myself only, but also the audience. Um, certainly, there was a part of me that was interfering with Jody and Beth, you know, and, and Tina's and all this kind of this triangle up here. But certainly it's just a show, and we're just not talking about these people in real life and their characters, for God's sake. But at the same time, it really, really, it really, really did open up people's eyes to the kind of work I can do, and also to deaf people to see a character, a deaf lesbian yeah. on television. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that really, really, I mean, there was a relationship that we had here that we developed and explored and... Uh, it was a great experience for that. For all of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think for me it changed the way in which I work a lot, really. I mean, I remember I went from working with you where you're so open and, and it's easy to have a conversation with you about the character and you're so uh, open to dialoguing about plot and character and everything. And, and, um, and then I went to go do Lie to Me and uh, I, I got there for my, my wardrobe fitting. I said, so, um, you know, can I, when do I sit down with the director and the showrunner? Mm -hmm. when, when can I meet and start talking about the character? And, and they kind of looked at me like, um, well, uh, well, the director's here and the showrunner's in the building. I was like, oh, great. Okay, well, I'm going to be done in about half hour. So yeah. if they're free, let's see if we can sit down and I kind of talk about where this is going. And, and they sat down with me and God bless them. They were so sweet. Um, but they did look at me like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is not the way this That's works. That's cool to know that. So one fan wrote in, typed in, I don't know, hit return. Uh, what would it take for you guys to do a TV miniseries or a movie? Huh? The L word? The L word. Yes, the L word, Jennifer. L word TV series. L word. I don't even I know like if that makes sense. I like the miniseries. I haven't heard that. The miniseries. Yeah. Yeah. It actually sounds like dramatic. Yeah. 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 It sounds like 1980s. Yeah. yeah. Thornburgs. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's fun. Better, we better get some good that. lighting and some. I think they all look completely gorgeous, oh and God. nobody has aged a bit worse. Oh, yes. It's, it's absolutely true. Right I'll take absolutely I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that one too. I am not. How about uh, how about some favorite scenes? Favorite guest stars? Well, I already said one of my favorite scenes is when you have the breakdown at the hospital. Yes. Yeah, with the little flower. Scene. Thank you. I love that scene. Besides the death and dying scenes, anybody have any other favorite scenes? There's so many favorite scenes. I mean, the scene where, where Dana and Alice hook up for the first time was a blast. Uh -huh. And uh, that was definitely one of my favorite scenes. With the song, Finally? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That exactly. That scene. scene. We had so much fun. That was so a lot of improv. We were just sort of like, okay, well, how are we going to do this so that it's just really fun? Yeah. That's right. And that was Okay, who was that director? Was it Burr Burr Steers? Steers. That was Burr, yeah. You know, the, the cool accent. Yeah. He was cute. <laughs> um, yeah, and didn't we want to do like a costume change? Like a Oh, yeah, we were going to do a role playing. Role playing. We had like, so many ideas, we didn't get to yeah. it that day. <laughs> we're like, you're the pirate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but then they added that later on the ship. Right, right, right. That's what I remember. Yes, yeah. yes, that's right. I have to say, I had fun on that boat. I had I fun that, on that boat. That was when a blast. The boat was fun. Sick, yeah. You made the Olivia Almost. Cruise. Yeah, it was a blast. Yeah, we, had a, we had a blast on that boat. We did. I mean, it wasn't, only, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. But I remember sneaking <laughs> off. I think I had about no, I 45 minutes before I was called to set. Or in between takes or scenes or whatnot. And I And we were we had been docked at Key West. Yeah. Key West? Yeah. And I was able to get off the boat without like the bodyguard knowing and I rented a bike and I went to the beach and I went swimming in the water and I still had my costume on but I you know and then and I but <laughs> this I a dream no this is, yeah. <laughs> this is 100 percent real I like had a bathing suit on underneath my wardrobe and so as soon as oh they yelled cut we had 45 minutes so I went to the beach went swimming came back that's the best I had story short I've, hair that's I've the never heard heard that. I had short hair so that. I just like tile dried it off that's my makeup like, stayed on right it was so hot that, like, you know, yeah, my underwear was. dried underneath my clothes. And by the time I got to set, I'm like, all right, let's go. No one knew where I went. It was great. <laughs> oh, my God. I just am, I can't believe you have a bodyguard. That's we awesome. had bodyguards well, on that. Yeah. We had had to. Yeah. Yeah. We had what to. was going on in your story at that time? Uh, oh, on the boat? Yeah. I feel like it had to do with Mia, or Jenny, and uh, Carmen. Carmen. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Trish Brock was directing that. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was like that threesome. It was the uh, the threesome, sort of like the like the yeah. Mia was trying the to triangle. the love triangle. Huh? How about you? What are your some some favorite scenes with Crazy Jenny? <laughs> oh, I, know. I enjoyed when we had to go to the college for the swimming stuff because it was just like talk about alternate universe. Yeah, you know what Tim was doing, the world yeah. he was inhabiting was so different than the drama that houses Crazy next Jenny. to one another. It was just yeah. kind of like a or drop down in yeah. Mayberry, you mm -hmm. know. And then you um, got the hot blonde. Didn't you shake a hot blonde? <laughs> yeah, one of the uh, uh, swimmers on the team. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. I feel like you were trying to remember that. Yeah, Chuckling. Like, yeah, was, <laughs> was No, blonde. I'm like, I was on the bar table. Yeah, swimmer. Yeah, yeah. swimmer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nice, nice. How about guest stars? Who did you, who did you guys enjoy working Darcy with? Darcy Davis. Those? Rosanna oh. Marquette. Yes. Uh, the, uh, Kelly Lynch. Kelly. Love mm. Kelly. We had great Kelly guest stars. We had incredible yeah. guest stars. Really good guest stars. Helen Taylor. Jane Lynch. Yeah. Yeah. Jane Lynch. Jane Lynch. Jane Lynch. Oh, Jane. Mm. What was it like working with Jane Lynch? Amazing. It was exactly what you, you would imagine. Would imagine. Yeah. yeah. Jane is, I mean, I remember the first. For all those scenes I had with Jane. <laughs> 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 I remember the first day I worked with her. Fun. I was very was pregnant. <laughs> Yeah. And she's so funny. See, I couldn't, well, one, because you're pregnant, and you're like giddy and tired, and you go through all these emotions, and I couldn't stop laughing, and I was just trying so hard, especially when she's throwing the, the balls at oh, the right, ovaries the right. and the giant <laughs> <thing. laughs> And every time, I'd just be like, oh, my God, I'm not going to make it through. I'm not going to make it through. I'm not going to make it through. Don't look right at Jane. Like, look at her. You know, like, but it's, she's awesome. She's yeah, amazing. That's when you came she's in for so the much fun. divorce, or right? Or yeah, well, and then I have this scene yes. where I come yeah. in, and, and then she sort of puts her hand on my boob, and then yeah. she's like, I've made love to a pregnant woman before. <laughs> She's so funny. She's amazing. She's, She's awesome. Yeah. And Sybil Shepherd. Oh, yeah. Sybil, Sybil, my God. I was so nervous. Yeah. Were you? Yes. Legend. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. right? Well, she 
brought her out of the closet. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Right. She was a live wire too. She would just break out she in a song fun. and yeah. <laughs> didn't she slap your butt? No, I slapped her. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I do remember <laughs> Boucher. Yes. Yeah. Because I see yeah. so many of her films and yeah. I was like a fan and yeah. and she was lovely. Yeah, she was. She was very sweet. Very though. real. Super fun. Yeah, they were and great. A good skier. Yeah. <laughs> was she? Well, remember we were up there? We were oh, that's right. And then we'd see her just go. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh, really? <laughs> Without breaking a sweat. And very French and like the perfect like, outfit yeah. on. Like, <laughs> and she would do like that perfect tournament. Yeah. Shoo. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like out of James Bond. Yeah, like, but totally. <laughs> <laughs> you can barely get down the hill. Yeah, oh God. Do you remember the bike scenes that we had when we were freezing? That was oh my fun. God. That was remember the hail coming down? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone was like, get back, the to the, get back to the set. Get it back was to the lovely set. biking shorts that they gave us. Uh -huh. Were okay. those really dorky jackets on? It was in your honor. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. like, this is sounding strangely yeah. familiar. Here's another fan question. This is um, <laughs> for Bet and Tina. Uh, what was it like filming the angry sex scene between you two? It was one of my favorite scenes. I like that scene. Yeah, I'm I really liked it too. Of that scene. Me too. Uh, it's intense. I was fasting. I remember. You were fasting. I, I remember, remember and you're still so strong. I remember, I, like at one point, I was like, <laughs> I had this like little chicken arm, and I'm super so strong. And Tony Goldwyn's like, flip her over, flip her over, and I'm like. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Really. Well. And then I was like, help me, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, my little arms are like, what? <laughs> It was fun. It was a good collaboration, and I mean, Tony was so yeah. like I think it was like blocking out a dance. I thought it was one of the best it? scenes ever, and I was emotionally drained after it. And one of the things that Tony yeah. learned really quickly with uh, digital is that you can keep shooting; you don't have so to cut. Going. So we kept going yeah. and going and going. So it becomes like you know this this thing where you get worn down, you get more and more raw. And in. I think one of the things that you really want as an actor is yeah, you want to make the plane, but you also want to have an experience. Like you, you want to have an experience, and and that was really this very intense experience to, to have because it, it was love and it was hate and it was, you know, guilt and it was all these things mixed up in one moment, and it was really fun and seared in my brain. A lot. Yeah, of, yeah. Kelly Lynch a lot of came up to me afterwards and said what she saw and was like, "Wow, super brave." You guys did a great job, and I was like, oh. But it, it kind of blurred over after we were finished because it was so raw mm. that when I actually saw it later, I was like, oh, there, that's there what happened. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Because I think sometimes when you lose yourself, it gets blurry. Mm. And that's that high you get as an actor. Like, that high is uh, you always, yeah. not every scene is going to give you that high, but when you walk away or you walk back to your trailer and it's done, and there's that, that's just this yeah. amazing feeling. And you know that you've given yeah. everything that you can give. Like yeah. there's nothing else to, that you can give at that moment. And obviously your collaboration with the director uh, and, and with, with the actors. Uh, and that was sort of like, was that episode by episode? Was that, or you would, yeah. My collaboration? Yeah, yeah. Well, with these guys, it was ongoing. Yeah. Because the stories were ongoing and the characters evolved. Um, and with the directors, it was episode by episode, and we treated each episode like a little movie. Yeah. And as actors, we had meetings with every director. You had the opportunity, anyway, to have a meeting with every director before you started mm -hmm. shooting the episode. So you had a little period of a couple of days where you could go in and say, um, I think this really works. I think this maybe could be worked on. You know, let's talk about what we're trying to accomplish at this given uh, yeah. period of time. And... Uh, and it was such a luxury. So, you know, when I went on to other shows, I'd be like, well, this is the way we did on an hour. <laughs> oh, and this is the by the director of the every episode. So I where's my name? <laughs> oh, I had, this, I had the same feeling when I jumped onto a network show. It's like, wait a second, wait a second, yeah. wait a second, wait a second. I, yeah. I think it's possible to do it the way we did it, and it was so rewarding. I mean, yeah. just to, yeah. to have that conversation, to get the feedback, to change direction because somebody has an idea that's better than the one you started out with and to have it coming from so many different places to bring a director in who interacts with the actors who interacts with me and with the writers and for it all to to be a combination of so many great minds and and ideas 
it's the richest way to make a TV show. Yeah. And I think for in network television that it doesn't, it just doesn't occur to people to do it that way. And Eileen, it was, it you know, you got the memo. Yeah. You know, if you want to come meet and talk mm -hmm. about the character, this is the time frame in which that's a great time to do that. And that's so cool. But also, I, I feel like we had a lot of directions we had fortunately came from film, so they were used to that sort of prog yeah. uh, that development and that progress. Whereas on most TV shows, it's network directors, and you know, they come in, they come out, and it's a re revolving door, and it's not their project, and they don't care. And Quite honestly, yeah. quite honestly, a lot of it has to do with um, the showrunner not being afraid to be vulnerable, which is mm -hmm. what's so rare in network television right. that I found. Yes. Um, a couple more. Uh, this is from a fan. Was everything that happened in the finale actually part of Jenny's Lay's Girls movie? Oh. <laughs> Eileen? <laughs> You're asking me to get inside Jenny's head, and that's just beyond me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's what, been two years now? Yeah, right. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, people are just uh, sort of obsessed, I feel like, uh, with the <laughs> ending, obviously. Uh, did you, all right, here's a quick question. Um, a lot of people wrote in and they thought, did you set that up uh, for a spinoff? Like, what, you know, or, or, hey, let's leave the door open for something down the road or anything like that? The answer is no. Um, we had hoped to do another show that by some weird... Um, kind of series of events wound up being looked at as a spin-off. Um, but the choices that we made in the final episode and in the final season had nothing to do with setting up that spin-off. The spin-off okay. would have been a totally different show. I wished we'd gotten to do it. It would have been a great show. I gotcha. People, yeah, people... <laughs> Can I just say that people want to know what happened with Jenny? Oh my God! It was like literally every. I was like any anything else, anything else. They're like Jenny, Jenny, Jenny Schechter. People are obsessed, absolutely obsessed. And that's why she's so much more powerful in her absence. She just knows how to work. Yes, us. I was. I was getting. I was getting questions like, um, <laughs> based on the height of that balcony, and when the landing by the pool. I feel like. Maybe she was hit by a blunt object. And I was just like, wow, people are really in it to win it. Uh, yeah, the height of the ba and the, a piece of small red tape that was, I was like, oh my God, wow. People are going deep with the Jenny show. Awesome. Can you believe it? Just shy of 10 years. Isn't that amazing? It's been 10, yeah, just shy of 10 years. Yeah. It's, it's been, been 10, 10 years. years. Oh my it's been God. fully 10 years since we did the pilot. Since we, did the pilot. Since wow. we met on the trail at the grounds crying. I remember <laughs> I, I saw you in the Sutton Place elevator and I was like, I know, I really think everybody... I, I never forget too. that first moment when I saw you. And I was like, Peace. oh my God. So <laughs> I was like, Peace. this shirt yeah, could be it. so wow. great. Adorable. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I and mean, I remember the first time I saw you, Kate, because I was a huge fan before I got on board. And I thought, you know what? Kate, all right, is she going to be like the character? I'm going to be in the first thing that we go to the table read. And I sit down, and you're like this. And I thought, no. She's a pussy. <laughs> pussy. Cat. Pussy. Cat. Marley said. Marley made the, made the, the pause. Pussy. Cat. <laughs> you know what? I love you. It's fun. <laughs> I just want to uh, say thank you guys so much for coming back and talking about it. Your fans are, are going to be in heaven when they watch this. I was a huge fan. So thank you so much. And thank you, Eileen, yeah, especially you. for creating such a wonderful, wonderful thing. I mean, we, there was nothing on for uh, for us to watch, and uh, you gave us such awesome moments. All of you did. So it was great. I miss it. Yeah, that was a nice Same. that was a nice uh, time warp that we just had. It's great. I'm glad we uh, we got you all back here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.